I'm Miss Ward, I teach English, um, and I am excited to present the ninth grade English award to Micah Webster Bass. Micah is brilliant, she is so talented at English, but my favorite thing about her is definitely her kindness and her willingness to keep learning. She always stays curious, despite being so talented at English, she has grown so much this year. Um, and that is just the best skill you can ask for in a student. So I love having Micah in class um, and she just really makes the entire class better with her answers and her knowledge. Um, so congratulations, Micah, so proud of you. Hello, my name is Ms. Brown, and I'm serving this year as the English to Honors teacher for Colin Shelby, who is the recipient of the English to Honors Award. Congratulations, Colin. You have exceeded all expectations this year and have done excellent work. So this you are more than deserving. So congratulations. What I admire the most about Isaac Fletcher is his grace and his professionalism. He is an exemplary student, but that is not what makes him special. It is his ability to lead without being at the head of the table. His amazing sportsmanship and his cooperative nature are contagious. When his law teammates were up in arms, he always displayed a quiet resolve that things would work out. And this made those in his presence chill too. He excelled at guiding and motivating his teammates to strive for excellence. He has an innate ability to identify potential conflicts and propose solutions that ensure success, not only for himself, but for all of those around him. My hat is off to you. Peace and light and congratulations. To see Cameron Thomas on stage, you would think that she puts 100% of her energy into her art. Those of us lucky enough to have taught her in academic classes, however, know that that is simply not the case. From the time I met her when she was a sophomore, Cameron has put energy, passion, enthusiasm into every assignment she's completed and into every discussion that we've had. I was lucky enough to teach her again in AP Lang, where she really developed as a writer thanks to hard, hard work on her part. And her senior year, Mr. Nerf taught her and said that he saw similar characteristics. So together, we've decided that Cameron deserves the Senior English Award for the class of 2021. Cameron, we wish you nothing but the best. When we sat down to decide who deserves the Senior English Award for the class of 2021, we had a long list of contenders. We were looking for students who were intelligent, who were great writers, who were insightful readers, and who were strong members of our, our learning community. The name that came up over and over again belongs to a student I taught as a sophomore and at that time, I was really impressed with her motivation to achieve really high goals that she set for herself. This same student went on to Mr. Nerf, her junior and senior year, and he said that her writing was among the best in the class and that she always made really positive, really insightful contributions to class discussion. So we would like to award the senior English Language Arts Award to Carolyn Geiler. We wish you luck as you journey on and we know that you have a really bright future. Hello, DA family. I'm Mr. Pickering and I have the pleasure of presenting the award winners for the math department. Each of the teachers have carefully selected a student from their class, and here's what they had to say. For Algebra 2, we have Jaden Fisher. Due to a mid-year schedule change, Jaden has had the privilege of learning from two of our Algebra 2 teachers this year, Ms. Milliken and Mr. Allen Black. 
and they both report that Jaden was at the top of both of her classes. She has maintained a near perfect homework average and demonstrates a thorough understanding of the material in her work. Congratulations, Jaden. For geometry, we have Sarah Keel. Ms. Milliken says Sarah is a smart, dedicated student. She is inquisitive and works until she finds the answer. Memorizing is not her way. Sarah does not want to know how to get the correct answer. She wants to know why the method works. Congratulations, Sarah, on a well-deserved honor. For pre-calculus, we have Cassidy Rose. Cassidy is a great student to have in class. She stays on top of her studies and is consistently producing high quality work. Mrs. Gulamali is excited to teach her again in AP Calculus. Congratulations, Cassidy. For AP Calculus AB, we have Sky Cisco. Ms. Gulamali has enjoyed teaching Sky the last two years and can't wait to see what comes for her next year. In this crazy year, Sky is the only AP Calculus student to maintain a near perfect average all year. Way to go, Sky. And for AP Statistics, we have some words from Mr. Cozier. Hello, my name is Mr. Mac Cozier. I teach the AP Stats here at Douglas Sanderson. The administration has let us know that we get to nominate a student for top excellence in the classroom. This is a very tough decision and all of my nominees were very close. We learn a lot about the world we live in, learn a lot about stats in this course, and we learned a lot about our school and our classroom. It is with great honor that I've selected a Mr. Max Young to receive this award. This is a student coming from homeschool youngest of four brothers, and the top AP stat student from all of my classes. Congratulations, he beat the odds. Hello, grand gurus of academia here at Douglas Anderson School for the Arts. This is Dr. Sauda here to present the awards for science, of which there will be five awards given by three presenters. The first award will be from Mr. McClure in chemistry. Hello, I'm Mr. McClure, and the award for outstanding student in chemistry for the 2020 to 2021 school year is Cassidy Rose. Cassidy has been amazing this year through a number of difficulties that the school year has kind of presented. She has done excellent work and her participation in classroom has been tremendous. She has almost never failed to answer questions and questions that she has uh, asked of me have been of very high caliber. So I am very proud to give her the award for outstanding chemistry student for this year. Congratulations, Cassidy. The second award is from Mr. Mike Sample in the category of physics. My name is Mike Sample and I'm here today to announce the this year's science award in physics. And it's my pleasure to announce that the winner is someone with a truly magnetic personality. <clears throat> Julio Martinez Garcia. Julio was a true pleasure to have in class. His understanding of the concepts that we covered in physics was what I would consider truly shocking. Having him in class this year was also a genuinely levitating experience. Levitating, 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 there it is. Levitating experience. Congratulations, Julio. Our final presenter is none other than myself. I shall be giving three different awards, the first being for AP Biology. 
Hello everybody, this is Dr. Souter here to present the award for AP Biology. This young lady, she came to me um, about halfway through the school year from FLVS and um, the teacher there must have been really a good teacher because I'm not sure that I've been teaching this young lady much of anything. Um, it essentially comes down to um, every time I go to ask a question, she seems to already know what the question is going to be before I ever ask the question and so she can answer it. Um, and then when she does ask me a question, um, to quote my oldest daughter, um, it would be a head scratcher to say the least. And um, usually I get back to her with, um, I'll get back to you on, on that one. Um, it has been a real honor, a real privilege for me to have um, had Isis Perez in class this year and am looking forward to the possibility of having her again next year. Um, so without any further ado, the award for AB Biology goes to Isis Perez. Congratulations. My second award will be for Environmental Science. Hello everybody, this is Dr. Souter with the first of two AP Environmental Science Awards. Um, this young man came to me halfway through the school year and um, essentially, I would call him the quintessential student, and that's, you know, like most of my students in this class, you know, yeah, he participated in discussions, he turned his work in on time and everything else, but what made this young man stand apart was his level of what I would call thoughtfulness. I don't mean that thoughtfulness that is, oh, he's so thoughtful, he's so cute, thank you for turning, you know, doing whatever. I'm talking about a level of thoughtfulness with questioning. He asked that question that made you go, hmm, I don't know. So um, it was really enjoyable to have this young man in class. Um, and I, I wish him only the best. So Luke Karuba, congratulations. You are one of the winners for an AP Environmental Science Award. And last but not least, yes, again another award for environmental science. Hello again, everybody. This is the last time you'll have to hear my voice. I have one more award for AP Environmental Science. Um, this one goes to a young lady that I had two years ago in AP Biology, simply known as the sophomore then. Um, now she has grown into probably one of the smartest people that I know. Um, she basically has already earned an AA degree while she's still in high school and she is taking I don't know I think there's 38 AP classes and I think she's taken 37 of them or something like that it's it's something in that general ballpark anyway um, but she is by far the hardest working person I know um, and she deserves to win this award for AP environmental science um, I take her assignments out to FSCJ so that my students there can see what she does here and what they need to be doing. Um, and um, it's just her, her work is that high quality. Um, and it's been a real honor, a real privilege to have her in class. I know she's not going to believe this, but I will miss you, Caroline Geiler. Um, it's hard to imagine, but I will. Um, it's been a, a real, real treat having you around. Um, and good luck at the Air Force Academy. Hi, it's Miss Swartz here, and I'm honored to give out the awards for the History Department this year. We have quite a few great students in history this year, and I'm really honored in order to say that I've taught some of them as well. Our first award goes to AP Macroeconomics. This year's award goes to Daniel Panar. Daniel is an exceptional student, always on top of his work and participates for the benefits, not just for herself, but for others as well. The next award goes to the AP Government and Politics. That one goes to Olivia Davis. Mr. Good says Olivia excels in everything she does. Her input and participation is always right on point and adds depth to the conversation. Music 
The next award is for AP World History. This year's recipient of the AP World History Award is Liliana Copeland. Mr. Steinhardt says Liliana is a brilliant student that has maintained an A in AP World History all year. Liliana stands out for her superior work ethic and her inquisitiveness, always asking the important questions that help lead her and her classmates to a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Even more important, Liliana is consistently kind and always looks to help her peers as much as possible. She not only succeeds in AP World History, but she elevates everyone around her as well. Now this year we have two awards for APUSH. We just had a really great exceptional group of APUSH students this year. And we decided to give out um, our last two awards to APUSH students. So our first APUSH award is going to uh, Kaysen Jones. And Mr. Good says that Kaysen demonstrates leadership throughout the year, um, that Kaysen leads discussion and introduced insight into the curriculum, and that Kaysen really truly thought like a historian this year, which I personally think is one of the highest honors you can get is to be called a historian. So great job, Kaysen. Um, our last award and our second APUSH award this year goes to Cynthia Jackson. Um, both Mr. Good and myself had the pleasure of teaching Cynthia Jackson this year. She was a Duval Homeroom student uh, at the beginning of the year and then came to the school a little bit later. Um, and she just is a leader all the way around. Um, extremely hard worker, helpful to not just, not just for herself, but to everybody around her, always willing to give of her time. Um, willing to ask the hard questions as well, um, and does it with just a great attitude. She's always here, ready to learn, um, encouraged to learn, um, and just is an overall great person. Um, I know she's gonna do great things in her life. Congratulations to everybody who won the History Awards. A special shout out goes out to the class of 2021. Remember, History has its eyes on you. I'm Dana Clark. I'm a Spanish teacher here in the World Language Department at Douglas Anderson, and I've been chosen to announce the awards um, for German, Italian, and Spanish. So here we go. First of all, I'll start off with the German Academic Award. Mr. Barnes says, Owen is receiving this award because he constantly displays a strong enthusiasm for the German language and culture. He is constantly prepared for class, helps others, and eagerly wants to learn the language. These are the traits I wish for students to possess. I fervently hope that Owen continues learning German in his academic future. Owen Burrow, congratulations for earning the German Academic Award. Ms. Marie, I would like the Spanish award to go to William Schmidt. William has many positive traits and skills. He has a high sense of discipline that shows every day by being in class on time and meeting deadlines with homework and other activities. He is also very respectful, follows all class expectations, and is always eager to learn. So congratulations, William Schmidt, for the Spanish award this year. Last but not least, we have Miss Gentry for the Italian Award. The award for Italian is traditionally goes to a student who not only applies themselves academically, but who also demonstrates a genuine interest in the language and the culture, who applies their knowledge outside of class activities, who asks questions, challenges the status quo, and who is respected by their peers and encourages their classmates to participate to the highest level. This year, the award goes to Gianna Yassino. Gia, uh, thank you, Gianna, for being a breath of fresh air in our class during one of the most challenging academic years. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. Buen Lavaro. Congratulations to all three recipients of our World Language Awards. Thank you.